very interesting headline. Someone is hacking the hackers. In the latest string of hits on Russian dark web forums, the prominent crime site Maza appears to have been hacked by someone earlier this week. What are your thoughts on the story? Maza's a closed form, and to get into it, you need an invitation. Um, so I won't confirm or deny whether or not we're in that one. Um, but not a lot of people were. Um, and so I think one is Maza was kept pretty tight. Um, and then two, it's interesting that someone was able to fully break in. And now they're leaking a lot of data about who was in Maza. So uh, that, that data by itself is going to be pretty interesting. What do you think, Miguel? Uh, I agree. And uh, it's always interesting. And I have to say, it's not the first time that this has happened, though. I'm guessing there must be like a sign, like a ribbon. If you get to hack a hacker, that would be like 100 years of forgiveness or something like that. I, on the top of my head, I do remember that the Boyd Forum got hacked probably like a year ago. N Nold as well. Got it. Sorry, which one? Nold. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're Nold, absolutely Nold right. Nold and Void both got hacked. Yep. Yeah. So this is not the first time, though, though this is the first time that I've read that a Russian site got hacked. Are they at the top of the food chain? How does that work? Uh, the Russian they are sites. Special. Yeah, the Russian sites uh, spend a lot more time keeping um, the general plebs out and um, only invitation only people or people with a lot of reactions um, or uh, accolades can do stuff. So uh, Russian sites are much more close, closed in communities um, whereas a lot of the English forms, um, they are very much encouraging everyone to sign up. They, they want tens of thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands of people on there all the time. So the, the Russian sites are, are operating with a different, uh, MO. Extremely restrictive, I would say, the Russian ones. I find, I find it hilarious that the Russian sites are like, this is for the elites. This is not for everyone. The means of production are only for us. It's it the Russian one, sure. not the Soviet. It's not, it's not a Soviet site, Steve. It's a Russian site. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Does that mean that, that there could be an operation right now to like smoke out the rat? To find who is who's been hacking it, and maybe they'll turn up somewhere in the tundra, missing kneecaps. Well, just because you hacked it doesn't mean you had an account. So, very well could have been an outsider. Um, I think I think what's more fascinating is it, when you have a closed community, a closed site like that, hacking and releasing all the data. That's going to be really interesting. That that's going to be a lot of relationships that are not widely known. It's going to be a lot of you know. That's going to be an exclusive group of people that probably are on a lot of wanted lists. And so I think this data is going to, you know, what uh, law enforcement does is they take data that's been leaked, and they use it as puzzle pieces to piece together a picture. So you start off with an email, and you can get a phone number, you can get an address, you can get you know, oh, uh, this username was used here and, and here and here. So it's, it's all about making the connections. And I think uh, Maza is going to make uh, uh, for quite a few interesting connections. Yeah, to, to put it another way, there is an enormous difference between I know absolutely zero about you and you're an unknown unknown, or I know one thing about you, which is a known unknown, and it's at, it's at least a lead. And and we'll we'll do the same thing at Hacknotice. We we get all the all the leaked data, we bring it all together, and then we uh, enable people to make those connections. And so um, we'll we'll have uh, fraud, and it's very easy for people to follow the chain of fraud um, and figure out uh, who's doing it or how are they doing it or or where are they getting this data.